Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I have some tips to not get bored in career mode. These will help you if you are struggling to keep a save going for more than 2 or 3 seasons. So let's get into the video. First up I will talk about the tactics, instructions and formation. One thing I normally always do when starting a career mode is use the same formation, tactics and instructions. They normally work for me and I just stick with them for the entirety of the save. But to change the career mode up a bit, you can try different tactics, instructions and formations throughout each season. You will have to adapt to a different style of play in first season for example and change it again in the second season. And who knows, you might find a new favorite formation or tactic to use. I would also recommend to try and recreate in real life tactics. For example, Marco Bielsa's tactics with Leeds United or Stefano Pioli's AC Milan tactics. Check out Bruma18 on YouTube to find more of these videos. I will link his channel in the description below. One quite obvious tip to not get bored as quickly is to make transfers. Even if you are trying to make your save a bit more challenging or realistic by limiting the amount of transfers you can make per season, making transfers and getting in new players is so important to keep a career mode going for more than a few seasons. Or you might be at a point and think, my team is too good. Or this team doesn't need any more signings. At that point I would recommend to sell some of your first team players or best talents. It's not very fun to do obviously, but you can try and use a random pick generator on Google which decides who you need to sell. Firstly you might have to say goodbye to some club legends, but secondly you can try and find replacements for these players, which means you have to make transfers. You will have to adapt to these new players which will keep your safe going for a little longer. When I talk about setting new targets, I don't mean following the board objectives and try and complete them. At the end of each season, check who is your top goalscorer, player with most assists, goalkeeper with the most clean sheets and how many goals you have scored and conceded in the league. When starting a new save, try and set yourself new targets with these statistics. For example, when your top scorer when your top goalscorer has scored 25 goals last season, try and make it 30 this season. If you scored 83 goals last season in the league, try and score 100 goals in the new season, etc. You can also try and break league or club records during each season. These can also be fun targets to try and complete and your players will make the history books of the club. Another tip to not get bored as quickly in your career mode save is to simulate matches. I know some people enjoy playing every game, but the downside to this is that the seasons go by very slowly, sometimes even too slow. Simulating a couple of matches here and there speeds up the process and saves you around 50 minutes of an otherwise obvious result, for example when you are playing in a cup match against a lower league side. It might sometimes be tricky to play teams that are at the bottom of the league table and I understand you might not feel very comfortable to quick sim those matches. I would recommend to use the sim match option, so you can simulate the match but still jump in when it all goes wrong during the match. A save almost everyone does each FIFA is a career mode with their favorite team. These saves seem to often last longer than other ones, right? Well, that's because you know the club and you are emotionally attached to the club, players and the results. Now I'm not saying you can't do another save outside of your favorite team, I'm just saying that starting career modes with teams you know something about often keeps you more interested throughout the seasons. If you are looking to do a save with a club you don't know much about, try and find articles, videos or documentaries of the club online. These will give you more background information about the club and so make you feel more attached to the club. A good example is the Netflix series Sunderland Till I Die, which is about the English football club Sunderland, who had back-to-back -back relegations and are now playing in the third division in England. Both relegations were documented in the series and from personal experience it really makes you feel more attached to the club, without ever having even been at a match or getting involved in the club's history. So choose the right club when starting a new save and get to know the club or players a bit better before starting it. Dive into the club's or players history and get a bit more attached to the club. This might give you a reason to actually complete the career mode and play a few seasons more. So those were 5 tips to not get bored as quickly as usual when playing career mode. 
If you have any other tips you want to share with other Queer Mood fans, drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you at the next video.